egg chopped. <laughs> Take that purple one. I don't want any of that purple on me. So we just left a new friend's house. I mean, they're kind of new since we just moved here. And we got some really great freebies. So they've got all this wire there. And they've got some here and some boards down there. And the ones that I already showed you that we bought at the store. So we also borrowed the staple gun and some staples. So I think we've reached a point where it's time to at least get a temporary coop going. So let's begin on that work. It is hard work putting together this coop. We thought, you know, we'll just put some chicken wire up here, but all this stapling and cutting and rolling above your head in the hot heat is a lot of work. It is. <laughs> so, yep, we've got all this, because all of these spaces are open, and especially like right here, we have some openings where things can get in. So we're putting all this chicken wire up here to hopefully protect our baby chicks when they come out. And yeah, we'll show you progress as we go. This is the most physical attachment we've had yet. This week. <laughs> we stink too. Hey, speak for yourself. I stink. <laughs> we can cut this. My arm's gonna fall off. Okay. staplers go over and over again <laughs> it is not easy it looks easy but it is not okay all right we've got progress Whew. we still have to tie all the little openings but that's not too bad and we still have this part all right, it's time to show you some chicken coop progress. Now, before we do that, let me show you what just happened. And in case you haven't been watching our videos, you don't know that we live in Iowa in the Midwest, and it's very windy here on some days, like extremely windy. You can probably hear it right now in the audio. And where we are, it's a fixer-upper. The garage is probably the fixer-upper-ish most of all. And the, the garage door, it's kind of it gives you a fit every time you pull it up and down, but when the wind got a hold of it earlier check out this Ugh. Such an eyesore. It's actually completely broken. I'm gonna try to fix the wheels and track, but it's probably done for So we're gonna come around to the back side of our garage here, and this is where we have our chicken coop and Kristen and I have been working hard to get all the chicken wire up and we don't want, you know, 
I think we would cry if a snake or anything got to our chickens. We'd be devastated. So we're trying to cover every inch. So up here, right at the little awning, you can see we've covered all that. And we just discovered the electric stapler. So we're putting a staple like every inch. And here's the inside. Here's Kristen, she's doing some tying. So I'll show you, we've covered every inch at the top here. Lots and lots of layers and stuff above your head. And then all the edges too, we're still working on attaching everything, covering every single corner and every crevice. And there's also this spot on the floor here. It had a crack in it or a gap in it, so covered that all up. And we can't wait to get some chickens in here because they have outgrown our little office that we put them in. Oh, yeah. In fact, we paid our daughter yesterday to clean up all the poop. <laughs> so, um, we're just chugging along and hopefully tonight we can get some chicks in here. But we still got a lot of work, so just wanted to show you the progress. And let me do a little, little zoom out so you can see. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. So that might not look like a lot of work to you guys on camera, but it really was. We're gonna spread down some pine shavings down on this side. We're planning on building a wall right here in the entryway so that it'll have a barrier for our supplies and whatnot, and also a double barrier for them between us and them. And so we're just gonna put up this temporary wall for now. We we'll just have these wooden shipping crates and we'll attach those together and hopefully they can't reach the top of it because we don't wanna sweep up a bunch of poo on this side yeah. <laughs> but on this side we're gonna go ahead and spread out our straw probably give some roosting spots too and then the next clip you'll see is us bringing the chicks out yeah right <laughs> yeah The chicks are graduating. Are you ready? Archer. Archer's like, this is my play area. <laughs> um, maybe Olivia can hold it so you can... Oh, help. she can go in there or hold it, whatever. Yeah, what do you want to do? She wants to hold it. All righty. You going to shake, shake their hands? <laughs> Good job, little chicky. Graduated to the coop. Woo! Big. I know. Hey, girls. Where are we? Sorry, we didn't get you a cap and gown. Mm -hmm. Go away. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Look I at think this. they like it. I think so too. They are checking stuff out. Yeah, there's their food and water. They'll probably find them <laughs> running around. All this room. They look so little now though. They do. And so few. Let's go buy ten more. <laughs> I know. I probably would if there were available.
right, so a quick update. This is the next day after we put the chicks in and they're still alive. So here is the frame that I just put together. I've never done any framing, so don't judge me. But we got these boards you saw earlier in the video and that's gonna be our wall there. And then over here on the right will be our door. So I got that all set up, it's nice and solid. And then my only board that was long enough I put up there and it actually looks like I did that on purpose. Nice little style there. So next thing we'll do is probably just put up some wall or some wire on this part. And we're thinking about putting our nesting boxes on the other side of this wall so that we could just open it up from this side if we don't want to go in there. And here are, oh, I can't show you the chicks because I've been hammering and screwing so much. They're way over here hiding. They're tired of the noise. And then real quick, let's check in with Kristen and see what she's doing. I'm doing a very important job over here. What is that? Vital to the chicken coop is a swing. <laughs> <laughs> So she's got this uh, closet rod here and some cord from our old tire swing we yeah. built. So I just drilled some holes, put it through and tied it off and we're going to put it up on the ceiling for them all to, maybe they'll all sit together on it. <laughs> <laughs> so let this be a sign ladies and gentlemen that if you think you can't, Kristen's probably never drilled a hole in her life <laughs> yeah. and she just it made that swing. Done quickly to just just go for it that's right Learn. I've never framed Learn she's never built that and we got it yeah <laughs> moment of truth like, don't put me on there <laughs> so I can try Update on the coop. My amazing husband over there has built all of this for us so that we don't have to close this big door at night and it had gaps in it so we were having to duct tape it. But now we'll be able to leave it open and inside we'll have this little bit of area that we can store their food and such. And we have this window that they've all been lining up and looking out of. And he's just putting the finishing touches on now of some chicken wire. And look at the door. It's wonderful. <laughs> Show him the best part. Well, <laughs> the best part to my wife to is my, that I yes. didn't have a tall enough board to cover the whole thing. So she asked for a half door. Look at how great. Who knows why or <laughs> what we'll do with it. I told him what we'll do is open the door and talk to the chickens and throw them treats while they're in there. <laughs> but it opens either one or together. Yep. Super fancy chicken coop over That's here right. built by the one and only. Well, my wife helped a lot. <laughs> but let me just tell you guys, we have no experience and this shed is crooked. So, yeah, if you is. ever want to hide your lines because they're not flush, just put some fancy trimming on it. <laughs> you can't tell that this window is completely crooked. That's right. <laughs> I told him next we need to uh, put a little cross on the doors to make them look like yeah. barn doors, little X's on it. Yeah. Yep, so when that's done, we'll be able to open this during the day and they'll get lots of fresh light and air. We've been putting a fan and a light in here in the meantime, so they're not totally in the dark. And yeah, then the hopefully. next project will be the run. Yeah. Hopefully today we can get the rest of the wire up there and right here done, and then they're good and sealed. Yeah. Let's see if we can see them in the inside. 
I also put their water up off the ground because they were filling it. You totally can't see through there. Let's open the half door. So it poured today, which we really needed the rain, but nothing got done on the coop. So we can just show you these little latches we put on today. Well, my wife did. So it's just these little things here, keep a raccoon out. And then we got one lower and above. It's nice and tight there, so that's good. And next on the agenda is to finish this run area. So I just need to fill in this gap here and then also put in like some lower stuff that maybe goes down into the ground. Of course we want the run to be really secure because you never know what might come up and dig under real quick in the middle of the day and eat one. So we don't want that to happen. And now the rain just stopped but everything's really wet. So I'm just gonna walk the property and see if we can find anything cool. I just found like this path through the grass. I guess maybe a deer was walking through it, but I started walking it and there's like these massive piles of scat. So that was interesting. It's all berries, <laughs> probably TMI there, but it was still interesting. Perfectly. That is the hardest going from that middle one to the top. Oh, it did it just fine. All right, everyone. So, one thing you don't see in these kinds of videos that are compilations of clips that we've all put together based off of one topic is how much time passes between the clips. In fact, sometimes it's hard to put them all together without giving you information in another video that should go in this video or vice versa. So here I am. This is the clip for the very final coop video compilation. And I'm going to finally get to show you basically the end of our coop and run build. And if you're part of any groups on Facebook, you you have seen some amazing coops or maybe you have one even better than ours yourself and I think it's important not to compare yourself to others because there are lots of really good ones out there and I like ours we like simple and we like efficient and I think ours works well for us could there be some improvements of course and you could tell us some that we should do but this works for us for now and I'm happy with all the progress we've made so without further ado, this is the end of our build. Check it out. So as you've seen, we've converted this little garage shed thing into our coop. So it still has the pull down door. We may end up keeping it that way. We're not sure. But then it has this second layer of wall here that I put together. And on the left side is a little wall with the wire there. So they actually sleep up there so they can see out and they all sit in that little windowsill and it's a pretty cute spot that they like to sit together. Then we have the window, we usually keep it open, but right now we're training our dog not to bust through the screen and eat our chickens. More on that later. And here's our double door. Really, it just stays together as one. We clip both sides and walk in. So let's do that now. All right, so I just unlocked the top half so we could just check it out together. Um, this is probably the final layout. Here are the girls. They've grown so much. Hey, ladies. 
So over here on the left are their nesting boxes. I actually still have to build them, but those are the boxes. That's the frame. On some pallets there. So it's that wall still. Over here we have this bucket system for their feeding. Maybe I can get this low enough for you to see. Yeah. So they hit that little piece of wood. That, that's what they're showing you there. And it knocks wood out of a hole, or knocks their feet out of a hole, and it falls onto the ground, and then they pick it. So it kind of controls how much they get, and it works great for us. And the corner there is their water. Then this little swing you probably already saw that Kristen put together. All these little roosting parts I put in the corner that they really love climbing on. And then finally, just finished my door. And so most people have this portion on the outside. Uh, we have galvanized metal on the outside, so for a good seal, I put it on the inside. But you just slide that middle piece straight up. It's tight enough that it stays there, and then they can go straight out from there. Okay, and here's the run. That's the little gate I put together. There's the fencing all the way around. If anybody's putting one together, I highly recommend doing a smaller, a finer wire on the bottom so nothing can fit through. And then I buried it actually about six inches, eight inches down and put concrete on all the posts under there. So it's pretty good protection for um, anything that wants to dig under or through there at the bottom. So that goes all the way around. It's actually kind of difficult because it's a little hilly right there. So we had to balance that out. And then there's where they come out. This is their first day doing it, but they had no problems. They came flying out of there and came back in a couple times. So they really liked that. So next up is probably to put something over the top because we actually have lots of eagles and hawks around here, not to mention stray cats. So we're not sure if we're gonna free range or not. We'll see, but this is the coop finished and it's actually been working really well for us and we love it so I hope you guys do too and I hope you appreciate all the hard work that went into this uh, it doesn't look like much on video but it was awesome putting it all together okay I just wanted to close this video out by thanking you guys for watching um, we appreciate you guys checking us out and Hopefully you guys learn a lot through watching us and we make plenty of mistakes. Obviously you saw from the coop, it's not perfect. There are far better or cuter ones out there, but we love it and we're definitely open for criticism. So just leave in the comments what you like about it or what you don't like or what you'd improve in the future. Um, but of course be nice, sandwich your, um, your issues between compliments. So, um, Anyways, our next video should be about homeschooling, I think. So I know that's a pretty hot topic right now with COVID going on and a lot of people starting homeschooling this year. And we're among those. And actually, we're day four, I think, into it. And my wife does all of it, but she's doing an amazing job. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, have a great day. See ya.